Okay, so basically I got an inspiration over the past weekend or so. And it's this. Of getting together a small kid for training. Like, if we think about it, you know, if disaster happens, what we're going to have to use is we're going to use what we have, right? So we're going to be taking as much as we can with us. So not only are we going to have as much as we can, uh, as we can feasibly carry, uh, there's also a chance that we're going to lose all that stuff. So if we're going to train, we might as well train to have to not have the extra amenities. In other words, to not have the best equipment, uh, or in some cases, any equipment at all. So um, for that understanding, then I think what I've decided to do for my own training and for my own dirt time is to kind of make a kit that will fit inside of a tight cast bucket and pretty much go to fill with that. Basically if it'll fit inside of a tight cast bucket it'll fit inside of pretty much anything. Um, I also have an added benefit of having a bucket so therefore I can use it uh, well like Dave can there he used his Harvey the bucket. That's kind of an in inside joke I guess. Um, to where I can use it to clean things, wash things, uh, sit on it while I'm uh, getting fish, or while I'm fishing, or while I'm in camp. I can use it for pretty much anything that I can use a bucket for. So, <coughs> a bucket is always a multi-use item. It's always a very good thing to have with you. So, why don't I just go ahead and, and make a kit around a bucket. So, that's kind of what I did. Um, what you see here, um, all around me, is basically a bunch of stuff that I had together from one point or another, from one kit to another, and I basically just put it all together and I made me another kit. The problem with kit videos is this, a lot of the time they tend to be boring and you're just like, oh god, get on with that. So, um, here's what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to basically show you what I used to for, for my bucket kit um, so that if something happens and I need to get moving really quickly, I can just grab my bucket and be happy. So, okay, here we go. First thing, bandana. We know bandanas. We know we like bandanas. We know why we like bandanas. Don't have to get into it. But this bandana is surrounding my three books, Medicinal uh, Plants and Herbs, Edible Wild Plants, and Trees in North America. Enough said. Slingshot bands, black, heavy duty. Um, if I take this apart, I can use it as a drink mm. straw, I can use it as a tourniquet. I can use it for its uh, intended purpose is to be used as a slingshot. So, so, light, easy, very happy. Roll of a 113 pound um, medium duty bank line. We know I love bank line. Have bank line. MSR Seagull. Inside the Seagull, you'll find magnifying lens. Sterno, flat finder stove, and grill top around the sterno. Thing of uh, fixing wax, bag of char cloth, and two uh, sail needles. Two more sail needles, ferro rod, and striker. For added fun, just to make sure that I have fire, I'm going to add. Two Bic lighters, check, 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 make sure they work. Two Bic lighters in there, ready to go. Here we go.
Okay, canteen. I have an aluminum canteen that I bought from Dave Canterbury's website. Eight bucks, canteen with cover. It's uh, a U.S. court canteen. It's a good canteen. It's pretty much uh, bomb-proof from what I can tell. And from what I've... Uh, I haven't had any problems with it, so... Good to have. Stainless steel canteen cup. I've been using it for the past four to six months. I've boiled rice in it, I've made soup in it, I've made coffee in it, I've had coffee in it. Um, I've burned rice in it. I was able to clean it out with the steel wool, stainless steel, canteen cup, aluminum canteen. I can boil water in the aluminum canteen if I have to. Much rather boil rather in the stainless steel cup or the or the seagull, but hey, if I gotta do what I gotta do, I gotta do what I gotta do. So, either way, I now have three containers that I can boil water in, and it only takes up the space of two. Next question. Okay, for one of my cutting tools, until I get another knife that's coming in at some point, there will be videos on that and uh, of me testing that extensively um, as soon as it comes in. When it does, you guys will be the first to know and I'm going to kind of keep it under wraps at this point because it's, it's interesting, it's, it's fun. Stay tuned, you'll like it. Or at least I will. <laughs> I'll enjoy the heck out of it. <laughs> anyway, until then, I'm going to be rocking my GI Tonto. Um, because it's pretty much the best blade that I can find at this point um, without going custom made. My personal opinion, for the price point and for what I get out of it, um, is, as far as I'm concerned, the best knife on the market. So, for that, for, for bushcrafting at a budget level, okay? Keyword here, budget. GI Tonto, have one, be happy, don't be afraid. Okay, uh, I've got a carpenter's apron. Basically it's a two, po two pocket uh, small apron that I can put uh, anything that I need to carry with me while I'm fishing or whatever else into the pockets. So there you go. I also have a hand towel or a bandana type of deal going on here. So now I've got three different pieces of cloth. Emergency blanket. Uh, for what it is, you know, it can help keep you warm. I can modify it to be a poncho or to keep the rain off of me. I can use it as a small mic requirement. I can, there's, the uses of these things are just phenomenal. So, and for the weight, 98 cents, take it. <laughs> take it with you. Um, I've got a small mirror. Good thing about these things is they can be used for signaling, flashing, things. Um, I can also, if I've got a foreign body in my eye or I've got something going on like that, I can use this to check this out. Small mirror. Camp tools. Okay. My criteria was is it had to fit inside the bucket. Obviously my axe is not going to fit inside the bucket. Obviously a larger saw is not going to fit inside the bucket. Obviously a machete is not going to fit inside the bucket. This is a small folding saw. It's small. It fits inside the bucket. It actually does a pretty good job. Um, it actually does a surprisingly good job. So I'm going to carry that one. Oh yeah, and it's low cost. Eight bucks. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, small chainsaw file. Used it in one of our uh, file sharpening vids. It's coming. Pocket fishing kit. I'm going to teach you guys how to make one of these uh, in another video. For its size and for what it will do for me as a fishing kit. Now I don't have to carry a big long rod and reel. Now I don't have to carry a whole bunch of tackle because I've already got it nice in a uh, large pill bottle that I got from the pharmacy. Um, two jars of fish bait, you know, Berkeley power bait, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, good thing to have if you don't have worms or you can't find worms or you can't find bait, use these. 
small first aid kit. It has um, <clears throat> alka seltzer. It's got ibuprofen. It's got uh, some thread. It's got uh, some razor blades in case I need to cut something out of my body. Uh, I've got gauze pads. I've got uh, Q-tips. I've got a little bit of loose tobacco just in case I need to um, use it for like a styptic or a, a um, disinfectant for a bloody wound or something like that. I can use this for it. Um, outside of that, that's uh, that's what I've got going on with this. So I think I've got some allergy pills in there or something. So it's always good to have. Multi-tool, Berkeley. 13 bucks, Walmart. Don't be afraid. Don't look back. Save yourself the money. Okay, I've got a small four-inch fillet knife. Uh, I also have a six-inch and in, in one of the things in, in the big pile of rejects, if you will, uh, that's right in front of me. The reason why I went for a four-inch instead of six-inch is because the four-inch is easier to deal with uh, when I'm cutting into the fish and when I'm making cuts and everything like that. It's a lot more. It's a lot more useful for that thing, for that type of thing. So. Use a four inch boy knife and be happy. I've got a stringer. Always good to have since I've been doing a lot of fishing. Like I said, I'm in Indiana, so I'm going to be using a lot of fishing. Um, diamond jewel stick sharpener. Thing of fish hooks. And I've got a couple of bobbers and two of the lunker lights for night fishing. And that's it, guys. So that's what I have in my uh, in my camper, in my camping and fishing kit. Um, if I were to be carrying anything extra, I might consider uh, carrying some steel wool with me. Probably not this whole container of it, but I would be carrying some steel wool with me, probably. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your views, I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.